Convicted killer is set free after he's tried a second time for horrific ninth ward mass shooting. Defendant Blair Taylor got a second chance because the verdict in his first trial wasn't unanimous. Natasha Robin explains. This is a byproduct of the Ramos decision. A decision that requires a unanimous verdict to convict a defendant leads to a once convicted killer walking free. These two men, Blair Taylor and Joseph Nelson, were arrested for what many called the Burgundy Massacre in August of 2014. The first thing I heard was blah, 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 shotguns firing at this house over here. And I, I was sitting on the porch and all I could do is in shock and just look down there. A drive-by shooting in the 5400 block of Burgundy left two people dead. 32-year-old Terrence McBride and 16-year-old Jasmine Anderson. But I kept saying, Jasmine, don't leave my mom was shaking, I was shaking up. Five other victims were wounded, including two young brothers, ages two and four, both shot in the head. This is one of the uh, most high profile murders and shootings. It's a mass shooting incident. The case went to trial in 2017, and it took a jury just three hours to convict Taylor and Nelson by an 11 to one vote. The men were locked up until the Ramos decision in 2020 against non-unanimous juries gave both of them a chance at a new trial. The only difference between 11-1 and 12-0 would, would have been if the judge had ordered the jurors to deliberate till there was a unanimous verdict, it probably would have been a unanimous verdict. But that wasn't the law at the time. Now, eight years after the shootings, D.A. Jason Williams offered Nelson a plea deal for 30 years for manslaughter. He accepted. Taylor, however, did not accept a plea deal and instead chose to go to trial. Eight years later, one of the eyewitnesses is deceased. So the prosecution's case has weakened over that. And when it was presented to a jury last week, the jury deliberated and concluded that they weren't guilty. The state hadn't met its burden of proof. Taylor walked free. Not to any fault from the district attorney's office, not to any fault from the police department. Raphael Goenecci of the Metropolitan Crime Commission says cases deteriorate over time, and it can be extremely difficult to retry a case like this, and calls it a byproduct of the Ramos decision. The DA's office agrees, saying, we firmly believe he is responsible for this horrific crime, but we respect the jury's decision and thank them for their service. There won't be justice for the family with respect to at least one of these two individuals. It'll be something that they have to live with going forward, but I think the district attorney's office and the police department did the right thing. The DA's office also tells Fox 8 that the Ramos decision has added more and more old cases for them to resolve. But they added they will not be deterred from prosecuting them. In New Orleans, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.